Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Wahlberg, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip is all about how to get out of your podcast. This isn't the takeaway I've talked about before or your guest extra. You know how much I care about the listener, and this little quickie is all about how to leave them. Are you telling them what to do, or are you leaving them hanging? Imagine you're on a date, and you've had a wonderful time, and the sparks were flying. How would you feel at the end of said date, he or she got up and said thanks for a great night, turned around and walked away? Uh, uh, what? Uh, No phone number? Can I see you again? As my mother would say, That's the sound of disappointment. What if you went to a brand new gym, had a meeting with a trainer who told you about all the weight you were going to lose and how amazing you'll look and feel in a few short months, then stand up and say, bye. (sighs) This is just like having a great sales or business meeting and not asking for the sale or telling your client what their next step should be. You're missing the opportunity. Mom? I know, she sounds like Darth Vader, doesn't she? I hear podcasters do this all the time. They've delivered so much value, say thanks for listening, and then say goodbye without asking for anything. But if you're podcasting to convert, even if that conversion is for subscribers, you need to ask. You can't expect a 100% success rate, but I can guarantee 0% success rate if you don't ask. Wayne Gretzky said it best, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But at the end of your podcast, don't just ask, tell. Tell your listener exactly what to do. This is your call to action. If you've delivered on your promise for that episode, your listener will be feeling satisfied, maybe even empowered with the knowledge you've just given them. A well-served listener is more inclined to keep their experience with you going. They want to act, but they don't know how. This is the time to give them clear, concise instructions. So, after your takeaway and after you've said goodbye to your guest, finish serving your listener. Tell your listener what you want them to do next. It could be like your Facebook page or follow you on Twitter or watch a video or download a PDF from your website or become a client. Don't worry if they see it coming. They probably expect it, but you don't have to make it obvious every single time. Mix it up. You know I love scripted material, especially when it comes to the specifics. This is one of those times. It's your cell, so make it sing. And you could probably do 25 episodes and not have the same call to action twice. And don't give your listener four, five, or six things to follow, like, download, or buy, or you'll just freeze them in a state of, I don't know what to do. Give them one or maybe two steps at the most. Even if your podcast isn't for business, it's just good customer service to let them know what the next step is. They may not always take it, but the option is there. And I hope that's just the tip you need. Thanks for listening. Bye. If you haven't already got my engaging podcast blueprint, you got to download it right now. It's a 25 pager, but it's a quick read. These are tips I've learned from my 25 years of broadcast experience. It's all about how to treat the listener. If you want your podcast to convert, get that blueprint. It's totally free. Just go to podcastperformancecoach.com slash blueprint. I'm Tim Wolbert. See you.